Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Let's Play episode. We are playing as Tanya the Techie on Shadows of Abaddon. And last episode, we defeated the Wall of Flesh, entered hard mode, got a few cool upgrades, and defeated Skeletron Prime. This episode, we've got a cool boss. Let's go see the name of it. I think it's pronounced Aranius. It's like a spider boss. And then, of course, we have the other mechanical bosses to defeat. But before we jump into that, I wanted to go over a few things that I did in between episodes. The first was go get a bunch of adamantite. So let's craft our adamantite forge. And that's just the hell forge and 30 adamantite. And then we can swap that out for our current hell forge. And from there, I just converted all of my adamantite into bars. And that gives us the option to upgrade to an adamantite pickaxe. We can also maybe grab a chainsaw just so we can cut trees down quickly. And you'll see why I want one of those a little bit later on. Another thing I did in between episodes was defeat the wall of flesh a little bit more and ended up getting the clockwork assault rifle right here. And here is our corrupted needler. I didn't want to forget about that. So let's go ahead and put these into our storage so we can do the upgrades. Let's do the clockwork assault rifle first. And it actually looks like we have the perfect amount to do the cactal rifle. So let's do that as well. Perfect. Another thing I did was get the frog legs. And so we can put these on instead of our scarf. And we fly so quickly now. I also got a DPS meter and the improved dummy, which is a Louis AFK item that you buy from the merchant. And I crafted a pick safe merchant. This is a really helpful utility item from Louis AFK. You just get it by crafting these mobile um, piggy banks and stuff. Like you just need two piggy banks, a shackle, some clouds. It's a pretty simple recipe, but it's really nice. You need, you know, two safes, some bones, and some mushrooms. So once when you have that, I know I've shown this in other playthroughs, but for those who haven't seen, you can basically place this and then you can have a merchant here. This part you buy from the merchant directly. And you've got your piggy bank and I've got a few items in there and our gold and stuff. So it's quite handy. Another thing I did in between episodes was farm up some cactus. We've got like 370 right here. And then I also built a cactus um, area above here. It's still growing, but I kind of added some aesthetics. Originally, it was just dirt with sand on it. But then I was like, well, we should make it look and match Tanya's aesthetic. So I added the tin and some, you know, aesthetic blocks from my builder character. But here it is. We've got plenty of cactus growing. It's going to take a while, but once when we have it, we'll be able to get enough cactus, hopefully, to use that cactus gun. If we can get 4,000 cactus, that would be ideal. So now let's see what this clockwork assault rifle thing does. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. I love the aesthetic. So this one does 800. Nice. And the granite eradicator does like 600 around there, maybe five to 600. So this one's definitely better. Really cool. And I want to try this cactal rifle, but only just a few shots. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. That might be a little too OP if we um, <laughs> if we get so much cactus that we can have infinite ammo. That's enough damage to defeat like the Moon Lord. The other thing I got are the high tech sunglasses. I just brought them in because a lot of people had recommended that we try them out. They're a vanity item and they look so cool. I actually think that's a really nice look. In fact, let's stick with this for a little bit because we need to go down and fight the spider boss. Uh oh, it just said it's going to be a terrible night. I think that means we've got another natural spawn of one of the mechanical bosses. So before we go to this biome, I kind of got lost. Uh, there it is. Before we go over here, we should probably go back to the surface and defeat this mechanical boss. We've got the twins. Excellent. I might switch on our jumping boots, the little frog legs, if we need to. But I don't know, we may not even need them. We're going fast enough as is. And the extra damage resistance we get from our scarf is pretty handy. Oh no, taking hits. They're a fun boss fight. It always takes me across the map. 
I guess we can try to just destroy the one that shoots the acid. Seems like the easier one to take down. Ooh, we need to put our buffs on. That will help quite a bit. Ooh, we need to not fall into <laughs> the corruption. That was close. Oh, here's our meteor. I've really not gone to this side of the map very often. We can stay out of that green attack so easily. This is very nice. I'm surprised they made this wing set so powerful for early hard mode. Ooh, that was not good. Just used our first heal, but we're gonna be just fine. We're doing so much damage to this boss. Oh, we already killed him. Okay. So now we just focus on the laser man. Excellent. And almost to phase two. Try to get some shots in while it transitions. do a circle around them. That works pretty well. Especially on that part, you gotta keep moving. And almost have them. There we go. The twins. Pretty simple clear there. Got a few more potions. Very nice. Some more hallowed and souls of sight. Excellent. In fact, we can upgrade to Hallowed Armor probably just straight from our Palladium because I don't like getting more Adamantite than I really need. Now that we have an Adamantite pickaxe, I'm curious if we can get some of this ore in here. I just realized I'm going to be out of Iron Skin and Regeneration by the time we start up this boss fight. Although it's probably worth it to just give it a try, get used to it before we go back to base. we got to really knock out all of these spider webs though. Ooh, we can! We can do the material now. Perfect. Because that was kind of getting in the way there. I like the music in this biome. It's very creepy. Not the speedy one. Those ones creep me out so much. In fact, last night, there was like the biggest spider I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty big spiders in Central America, but as far as in Oklahoma or Texas, the biggest spider I've seen was last night. It was like the size of my palm and it went running right under the TV and it scared me so much. I ended up almost losing it under the washing machine, grabbed my flip flop and got him. And yeah, that was so scary. I was like, if that thing gets into my office, I'll never feel safe again. I've also weirdly had wasps come into my home the last like two days. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's the temperature because it's been really hot. Maybe they got into the AC vents or something, but yeah, it's been pretty creepy to be watching TV or, you know, doing dishes, eating food, and then suddenly a wasp shows up. But I've been pretty good at handling the wasps. What I've found that works is I'll open like the back door and the sunlight and the temperature or something draws them to the outside because they don't want to be inside or anything. But um, they have fortunately left and not, you know, stung me or anything. I've actually never been stung by a wasp, but I do not want to experience that. Sounds very unpleasant. Okay, I think I found the summon for the boss here. So, um, we probably need to make an arena, but who's got time for that? Instead, let's just give it a shot, see how it goes. Oh my gosh, though, there are so many spiders, I can't hardly even prep to fight the boss because the spiders spawn so quickly here. Whoa, we got a cool sword there. No, get away from me, spider. So, oh no, we need a key? Maybe that's like something we can access after defeating the boss. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Oh, it seems like the spider webs are appearing. Like the enemies are creating more spider webs. I wonder if this ore sells for a lot, because this could be a really easy way to make some gold. 
Who? What's that up there? Is that the boss summon? Let's do this. That is definitely the boss summon. Oh my gosh, this is a cool boss music. Oh no, that thing is so stinking creepy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this boss is so cool. Okay, the spider web thing is really throwing me for a loop. I have not done a boss fight with webs like this. Oh no, we gotta get out of there. This is really tricky. Okay, I'm gonna definitely play it safe. I want it to be on screen though, so y'all can see how cool it is, but it's a little bit too risky to get close. Although it's kind of keeping up with me, so that's not a problem. Hopefully there's a few hearts around the arena. Oh no, I'm getting stuck. Ah, this is so bad. We haven't even like taken it down three quarters. So scary. Okay, we might need to like fully mine this area out. And we definitely probably should be using potions. Oh my gosh, like I'm like seriously actually feeling like an adrenaline response right now. This is making me actually really creeped out. No, we're gonna die from poison damage. Ah, oh, that's horrible. Okay, well, I'm gonna put away some stuff and then I'm gonna go back down there, mine it out a little bit. Oh no, while I was mining the boss spawned again. This is not good. Oh man, I got completely trapped there. Okay, well, we can give it a try. We don't wanna waste the boss spawn. Unfortunately though, I don't have any platforms or anything in here. So this is gonna be kind of hard, but at least we've got it kind of better set up. This em empty space gives us the ability to kind of circle it like Plantera. Yeah, maybe we can do it actually. Well, it's kind of nice the shots that I miss that shoot up into this, uh, like the roof of this area actually do some pretty good stuff because it knocks down those cobwebs so when I go back up I'm less likely to be hit. Oh no, no! I'm really glad I've got the palladium because all that extra health regen is really nice. Although I could just be using a regen potion but I'm never prepared because I thought all I needed to do was mine everything up in here and not um, <laughs> fight the boss, but when I was mining I was just kind of in a trance, and I ended up breaking one of the little altars. Please don't tell me there's going to be like a crazy second phase to this boss, but I kind of already know that there will be. I assume there will be, but hopefully we'll be able to defeat it. Oh my goodness. The respawning spiderwebs is a really clever mechanic. It really makes this boss fight tricky. I assume if we pulled them into the caverns, it would enrage or something. Because I feel like it's intended to be fought here with the spider webs. But it might not, like, have to be. If that's the case, it would be way easier to just make a cavern arena and defeat them that way. I'm glad we have good wings. Now I can see why we would need such fast wings. It really helps. Okay, back to normal attacks here. No more dashing, at least for the moment. Okay, luckily this is not too bad to dodge. Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. I turned off my map because sometimes it kind of starts bothering me. Even though it's very helpful to have during a boss fight, I prefer fighting without a map. It's like way more immersive this way, I think. I think we might be able to get them. I don't want to get too hyped though, but we still have a potion ready. 
unless there's like a really crazy final phase, we're getting the hang of this. This has got to be one of my favorite songs of this mod. And definitely my favorite boss of the mod so far. This whole biome is very well done. It's very simple, but they applied some really cool ideas to it. Oh no, we ran right into him. We ran out of uh, flight and just kind of drifted. Oh, we're about to do that again. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. We've defeated the creepy spider boss. And we didn't even need hallowed armor for it. Oh, there we go. All the enemies respawn. I didn't even notice, but there were no spiders spawning during that fight. I can't even imagine how insane it would be with spiders everywhere. Okay, let's try to open this and not die. We got a mask. Very nice. We have a magic weapon. We don't even have enough mana, I don't think. And then we have a venom sample. Ooh. Sweet. It looks like we didn't get a key, though. I wonder if that key is not, like, something you get every time. Now that we've defeated that, let's go back to base and see what this uh, little venom sample does. Oh, the venom sample combines with venom ore to craft venomite bars. And that's how we get these items. Well, at least we can craft some of these and see how much they sell for, because there's really no use to have them. And, oh, this sells for 16 gold. It's pretty good. The boss didn't really give us anything, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's what you get for doing, like, a class-specific playthrough, because sometimes, you know, you don't get an upgrade from each boss, but it was still so fun, and I'm glad we did it. Now, I think it's time to maybe just go ahead and try the mechanical worm. Maybe let's grab a potion before I forget. Let's, like, grab an iron skin and regeneration. I like to at least have those. I don't know if it's actually nighttime right now. Oh, I guess it is. Kind of was hard to tell. Okay, so I just activated our potions. Oh no. I just realized we don't have our map on. That's going to be a problem. This is a boss you definitely need the map for. Um, <laughs> I maybe should have gathered myself before doing this boss fight. We do have our infinite piercing. So we can do that as well. There we go. Pretty good. Got a few good hits in. We were kind of getting hit too much by the little probes, though. I need to just focus more. Stay, stay on the probe management. Don't want to get too many of those floating around. Because then that happens. Uh-oh. We're in a bad spot. I'm just going to have to run through the boss. A mistake that I sometimes make is I dash too much, and then I'll get kind of stunlocked and take multiple hits. Sometimes it's worth it to just use your immunity to knock back and just run right into the boss. That way you can get through it. I'm seeing some hearts on the arena, though. So that's very good. When we can safely get over there, we'll be able to grab those. I think right now is probably good time. Oh man, trying to grab them, I took a bunch of hits. <laughs> okay, we gotta focus on damage because we're not doing nearly enough. I'm gonna look, focus less on the probes and just do body hits. Maybe we'll just use the rest of our gold. We only have like a hundred left, so we might as well just use it up here. There we go. Plus it's good it's taking out more of these probes. I don't know where we are at night. It's the problem with doing this during a rainstorm.
Uh oh. Okay, I'm wasting bullets here. But we're at least staying alive for the moment. Got the boss down to 50%. weird how the music keeps fading in and out. I don't know, I realized we could do this boss fight up in the air, because I do have an arena over by, like, the cloud. Because the one I built when we were fighting the wyvern or the harpies, that might be a better spot, because then we can keep the hits going. Just gotta get around here. And... Oh no, we got hit by the head. I figured that was gonna happen. Okay, this might help us with DPS though. Now that we're up in the sky, it won't go underground so much, so we can keep the DPS going. As long as it doesn't despawn or anything, I don't really know what the requirements are with this boss and being high up in the air and stuff. I don't even think it can reach us. I think we're like at the perfect height. Right at Sky Island level. Well, even if we don't defeat it right now, we'll be able to defeat it really easily if we respawn it the next evening. And we're making so much progress. This is like 10 times faster than before. Almost got him. There we go. And it says, the jungle grows restless. Ooh, we could maybe even harvest some of our cactus over here. I was hoping this farm would be a lot more effective than it is. 34 cactus from it. Maybe the dream of getting enough cactus was a little bit too optimistic. So we are back at our base and we've got our treasure bag with some hallowed and souls of might and everything. Whoa, look at this. The Chroma Ultima. That's the upgrade to the Breaker Blade. That looks pretty cool. Sends out Shockwave that passes through tiles. But we need to do our Pickaxe Axe. Now we can mine up Chlorophyte and all that good stuff. So we need to do Hallowed Armor. Hopefully we've got enough. And we don't. No! We need to fight the bosses more. Actually, I just remembered something. We have the Operator NPC. So it's two gold for a hallowed bar. So I think we've got enough to get a hundred. Yeah, that's good. We're completely broke, but now we will have an armor set. And let's see what it does. We're at 35 defense and we are at 45 damage. And we went up to 47 and 48 damage. That's a good increase. And the set bonus is kind of garbage in Terraria 1.3.5. It's 25% chance not to consume ammo. If this was 1.4, we would have that amazing shadow dodge effect. And I think that's a great place to end this episode. We did a ton of fighting with that scary spider boss, and we defeated the last two mechanical bosses, the twins and the destroyer. And next episode, we're gonna be able to fight this boss right here, Raynar, and Plantera probably. Lots of good stuff coming up. So definitely stay tuned and give this video a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series so you can catch the next episodes. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.